Well, it seems that people are getting sick and tired of all the woke, liberal SJW propaganda that's been forced in all the, you know, the kids' movies. I'm not much of a Hollywood person anyway. I don't really watch Hollywood stuff. Um, I have videos exposing the Illuminati connections, but uh, it seems that a lot of just normal people are waking up to this, and this is evident by the fact that all the woke films keep just bombing at the box office. <laughs> you know, because why? Pe because normal people don't want that. But this recent example, <laughs> I mean, I mean, just, just. Get ready for this. This is this is amazing. Uh, this new film by Disney called it. It's called Strange World. Likely likely to lose Disney 100 million, 100 million dollars. Yeah. See that's why. And by the way, Strange World very fitting title because it is a very strange world we live in. I mean, I could just go on and on about that. I I, I mean, I'm not going to bother. I could, I could just I could go on for hours on that. But uh, this the latest. SJW uh, LGBT indoctrination attempt failed attempt by Disney but because why well you know the saying go woke go broke perfect example of that so it's gonna lose them 100 million dollars <laughs> yep but you see the problem is that even though they keep having these films bombing at the box <laughs> bombing at the box office they just don't get it do they but it says here in the article Disney won't want to hear it after this weekend. In the grand scheme of things, the new Disney animated film opening over a holiday weekend sounds like a sure bet. Kids are home from school, parents are looking for things to do, so traditionally the combination has to be a winner. But that was not the case for the latest film from Disney, Strange World. The, the movie opened at its second box office for its opening weekend, but failed to gross 12 million. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. I, I'm just reading this article. Just I haven't read this beforehand. This is kind of just a blind reaction. But failed to gross $12 million in just three days. <laughs> I mean, but this continually happens, but they just don't get it. Uh, it says, uh, and uh, add in Thursday, Friday, and the number didn't even cross $19 million. So they, they can't even get another, like, what? Uh, they, can't, they can't even get, like, they can't even reach $20 million in their opening week. <laughs> I mean, their opening weekend. I think I think that kind of sends the message that people don't want woke LGBT ideology in their little films, in their kids' films, you know. But it says here in the article, uh, the you know the cost report 180 million. That's not good at all. Yep, it isn't good at all. It's going to lose them over 100 million dollars in their investments. But as as the saying goes, go woke, go broke. It says in the article, according to Variety, the math on the on an opening that low. With a budget that high, and it doesn't even include the public, public, the publicity and marketing. Not good at reading on a computer. Uh, equates to a loss of about a hundred million dollars for the company. You're welcome, uh, welcome home, Bob Iger. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, if I was him, I would, I would, you know, I mean, it, essentially, it's like welcome home. Here's a here's a hundred million dollar bill you forgot to pay. You know, it's like, like you leave your gas on or something like that. You got to pay all this money when you get home. Welcome home. Here's all this money you just lost. Uh, now that would uh, now that could change if the film does better in subsequent in the subsequent weekends, which it likely won't. I mean, given by these numbers, it's not going to do well. It's going to be a box, a continual box office bomb, which it could, considering it doesn't have much competition. But most always, the opening weekend is the most successful one. So it's unlikely. Also, that the while the international box office can often help immensely in cases like this, <laughs> this is amazing. That in the case of Strange World, it only grossed a bit over nine million dollars from forty three markets. <laughs> wow that's that's that is a fail to say the least and that, that's in the international like that's not domestically that's overseas yeah uh so what happened some experts have pointed to disney's recent pattern of fast tracking new releases for disney plus instilling a wait for it to come home attitude others say there are still fears of going to theaters due to the pandemic the scamdemic uh and the reviews which were a solid 75 percent on Rotten Tomatoes were not quite eye-grabbing, all of which was absolutely true and were certainly factors to some degree, not to mention it was a week uh, weekend at the movies in general, with basically every new release severely underperforming. Well, uh, that, that could be used as an argument if it wasn't the fact that every single woke film by Disney, this LGBT, you know, uh, SJW type ideology, always fails at the box office, because why? Normal people don't want that in their kids' films. Uh, it says another factor is that uh, one that's much more difficult to quantify is the general excitement for the movie. While, while Disney uh, spent uh, plenty to get the word out about the film, I saw its title all over TV in the past few weeks. None of those materials seemed to connect with the audiences. You watched them and they looked cool, but you never, but never really hooked you in. It's about a father and a son, the world is pink, okay. 
was my basic reaction. Again, it is hard to quantify, but if you're reading this, just think about it. Do you see a commercial or trailer for Strange World? I didn't even hear of this film before all the all the all this before. But essentially, how I heard about this film was I watched a video by by uh, what's the uh, Geeks and Gamers uh, talking about how it failed. I never even saw any ads for this thing, so I don't know what marketing they're talking about or any kind of. Uh, getting the word out. I, I haven't seen, I, I never, I only heard about it from the channels talking about how it's failing at the box office. And believe me, I check the news on a regular basis and I, never, I didn't see anything about this. You know, uh, in terms of, of advertising for it. But I gave it a second thought afterwards, so if so, if so, the odds are you're in the minority. To be fair though, Disney isn't always sure uh, what it has with these big animated films. Uh, the company famously underestimated Frozen and Enchanto only to have the quality of these films. Uh, stellar reviews and word of mouth breathed life into them and over the years Disney Plus uh, Blu-ray licensing and more so uh, maybe Strange World maybe Strange World ends up losing less than 100 million in Hollywood though the life of a film can largely be predicted by its opening weekend and the picture here isn't a bright one that's the thing too they capitalized on the, the success of Frozen uh, and then they came out with Frozen 2 which obviously was not as well liked as the first one and and there was like some kind of scandal about them having a lesbian kiss scene which again would surprise me with a lot of the modern disney films but you know that's what happens you know I, like again I, I keep saying it but you go woke you go broke because you know they're, they're kind of hiding the fact that really the main reason is because because having shower knows how a lot of the lgbt kids films bomb at the box office because normal parents even if you're kind of for a lot of the the sodomite homosexual stuff you know, generally the consensus is kids ought to not be indoctrinated into this whole thing. You know, and there are even other sodomite activists who would who would say, yeah, you know, uh, you know, kids, you know, kids should be left out of it. Kids are not are not able to understand that. But of course, the the Satanists and Illuminati, you know, Jesuitical devils over in Hollywood don't seem to get that. Don't seem to get that after just box after box office flop after box office flop they just continue doing it you know the definition of insanity is trying the same thing and expecting different results so and again how fitting of a title a strange world because this is a very strange world we live in so anyway i wanted to just point that out it's just hilarious how how they just don't learn from their mistakes and keep trying the same thing over and over again and hoping they'll get different results so anyway don't, uh may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye